Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients that is like necessary for starting this electric lifestyle, okay? So the first thing we have is baby kale. You can use any type of kale, but that, that's what they had in stock at Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's is my like go-to spot when it comes to um, shopping for electric foods. Then we have bell peppers. So bell peppers can be made into um, stews. It can be made into, if you can um, actually make a salad out of this. You can actually like saute that with the kale. I got some more bell peppers because I love the different colors that it has. Then I also got her some tri-colored quinoa. So my sister's transitioning, so I'm showing her like the best way on how to start this. So that's why I'm showing you guys the haul of what I purchased. So quinoa is a really good replacement for rice. So that's why I got her that. Um, then I got some, this is me, then we got some walnuts. So walnuts is really good because you can make a milk, you can use walnut milk, you can actually add this to a salad, you can snack on it if you want something crunchy. So walnut is one of my goals, you can actually make banana bread out of it. So that's what we have thus far. We also have some um, coconut water here that was cut fresh. Then we have some hemp seeds. So hemp seeds is really good because you can actually add it to your salad just to eat the raw hemp seeds. You can actually make a hemp milk out of it. You can even make like a nice creamy sauce to add to your um, or dressing to add to your meals or to add to your salad. All right. So hemp seeds is one of my go-tos. Then we have zucchini. You have zucchini here. We can saute this. You can make a nice salad bowl. Um, and this would be lovely. You can stew this down, whatever you want to do with that. Then I got her some mangoes. The reason why I got her some dried mangoes is just because if she has a sweet tooth, she can snack on it because it's really good. So she has some mangoes to snack on. Then I got her more mangoes. Well, more mangoes for me too. <laughs> so I'll put that aside. Then we got her some, um, Coconut oil. So the reason why I got her coconut oil is once you can use this as toothpaste She can also use this to um, you know as a moisturizer You can also add this to like bread. You can add this to smoothies, you know play around with the coconut oil um, Then we got her some grapeseed oil So grapeseed oil is really good to use instead of the vegetable oil and canola oil Grapeseed oil, avocado and hemp seed oil are only approved oils then I got her some agave. The reason why I got her agave is instead of adding sugar, she can use this to sweeten her food. She can add this to her smoothies, soups, whatever she likes. So that's another contestant. Then we got her some, I got her some spices. I started her off small. So I got her some oregano. You can add this to all of, you can add it to a salad. You can add this to a salad dressing. You can add this to um, your stew when you're actually sauteing the zucchini. Um, I wanted to get her some more some more um, seasoning, but they didn't have much in stock. I got her some frozen fruits. The frozen fruits is really good to add to smoothies. We got her some strawberries. And strawberry is really good, again, to add to salads, to add to smoothies as well. I also got her some apples. So she's screaming for something crunchy. She got an apple to snack on, and she can make like a nice fruit salad with the strawberries. Or she can even make apple pie. That would be yummy too, right? Um, let's see what else we got in this goodies. So I got her some Boro bananas, frozen ones. Um, so the reason why I got her these is to add to her smoothies as well. Then we got some blueberries, strawberries, and all that stuff. Another smoothie mixture. Or she can make a compote to add to um, any fruits. She desired and we got some red onions that can be sauteed with the zucchini um, we got her some butternut squash the butternut squash is really good to make a soup she can saute this she can make it a salad bowl she can make it a Buddha bowl the world is your oyster when it comes to that we got some cherry organic cherry tomatoes this is really good to add to salads to add to stews to add to soup so this is one of my go-to's um, then we got her some yellow squash. Yellow squash really good to saute. Mm -hmm. I think the Buddha bowl is probably like one of the easiest meals that you can make when you're first starting out. So that's why I recommended that. 
Um, I also got her some Fonio. So Fonio is really good um, to eat in the morning time. So you can make this into a nice porridge or like a hot cereal type. There you go. So we got some Fonio. And what else I got her? What else? What else? Oh, we got her some sea salt. So to season her food, instead of using ionized or non-ionized salt, she has this to use instead of, of plain salt. So sea salt is a really good replacement for regular salt. I'm trying to see what else we got in the cities. Oh, we also got some dates. So medjool dates. This can be added to um, for snacks. It can also be added to smoothies to sweeten it. Um, soup, soup, whatever you want. So dates are one of my go-to must-haves. Um, we got some more frozen fruits. We got some strawberries. We got her some mangoes. Man, she was hooked up today. Hooked up. All right, guys. So that is all from the haul when you're first starting out. So as you can see, all of this is purchased at Trader Joe's. Um, my total. Well, excuse me, sir. Let's add let's add Jeremiah to this mix because he wants to be he wants to be seen. Let's bring him to the mix. Hi, baby. What do you gotta say? What do you gotta say? Anything? <laughs> Bye.